Yep. Welcome to the world of Zool, a fascinating creature that is finally stepping into the spotlight after being encased in solid rock for about 76 million years. Here at the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto, Zool is settling into its new home, giving scientists and visitors alike an unprecedented glimpse into a poorly known slice of geologic history. Zool is an ankylosaur, a type of plant-eating dinosaur that's known for wielding a bony and potentially lethal club at the end of its muscular tail. That explains why paleontologists David Evans and Victoria Arbor named this particular species of ankylosaur Zool curvastator. The first part of the name, Zool, comes from a fictional demon that appeared in the original Ghostbusters movie. You can probably see the resemblance. The second part, curvastator, is Latin for shin destroyer. Based on the evidence, that's not an exaggeration. Scientists have found fossils of T. rex and other predatory dinosaurs with shin bones that were clearly damaged while those dinosaurs were alive, presumably due to painful encounters with a tail like this. But these heavy tails also make ankylosaurs hard to study. That's because they're often found detached without the rest of the body. It's thought that their weight helped separate the tails from their owners after the dinosaurs died. But that's where Zool is unusual. Its tail was unearthed together with a complete skeleton, including the head and even traces of its skin. It's a fantastically rich and well-preserved find from a layer of sandstone in northern Montana that also extends into Canada. Based on how Zool was found, it appears to have died in the water and floated on its back in a small river where its body became lodged on a sandbar. But not until the museum acquired the fossil and technicians began to cut into and probe the giant block containing Zool did Evans realize how important a find it really is. That's because bits and pieces of many other species of ancient plants and animals have turned up together with Zool. That includes parts of other dinosaurs and more familiar animals like this turtle. After more than two years of work, Zool's head and tail are now on display, along with a cast of its body from the belly side. Meanwhile, the rest of the fossil is still being prepared from the opposite side, where more evidence of skin and the creature's armor plating is waiting to be revealed. But even as work continues, and visitors line up for their first glimpse of Zool, one thing is already clear. This is not just a dinosaur, it's a time capsule that has sampled an entire prehistoric environment, and one that will probably keep Evans and his colleagues busy for years to come.